the student today we are going to learn what is the electric potential due to the electric dipole at an axial line at an equatorial line at any point anywhere you can keep it at anywhere okay so these are the three concepts we are going to learn first we will learn electric potential that means it's called voltage electric potential due to the electric dipole uh, this one we can call it's a dipole HCL is one of the example of electric dipole uh, two equal and opposite uh, charges separated at small distance okay which one I am going to take it as a 2L distance so from center it will be LL okay so electric dipole electric potential due to the electric dipole at an axial line axial line the point which is going to be straight to here equatorial line which is a point perpendicular and uh, any point these are the three cases we are going to discuss if you like my channel please subscribe okay the thing is I want to tell you is axial line the another name we can call it's a bodon side equatorial line another name we can call it is a uh, midpoint perpendicular line okay axial line another name we can call it is a end on side equatorial line another name we can call it's a bodon side okay midpoint perpendicular line anything we can say the another thing we are going to see here uh, see first i am going to find it what is a electric potential due to the electric dipole at an any point okay based on that i am going to derive equatorial line and uh, axial line so see now i am taken as a electric dipole so electric dipole here you have to take it as negative here i am taken as a positive so from the dipole the distance between the two dipole it's going to be 2l from the center it's going to be l l the distance will be left side it is a l right side it is a l so why we are doing as a 2l because easy to differentiate from the center uh, it is l l length okay i kept as a test point here so which is going to be taken as a p so always test charge distance as a r distance so this is a distance from the plus so i am taking this as a b uh, this is a distance of from minus this is a distance i am taken as a a so ap bp okay from plus distance we can call it is a bp from minus distance we can call it is a ap so i am drawing the perpendicular line so here also i am drawing perpendicular line this line i am getting extended okay so from the axial line theta angle is shifted from the axial line theta angle is shifted this i am taken as a theta so i don't know how many angle is uh, shifted theta is 0 means axial line theta is 90 means equatorial line so now i am taken at any angle so it's uh, shifted at any angle okay i am taken at uh, some angle so one thing i am going to take it this as a c this as a d so bp is approximately equal to cp so bp is approximately equal to cp the another thing pd is approximately equal to uh, it is uh, ap pd is approximately equal to pa so it is pd is approximately equal to p this two we are consider it's a equal because we did as a perpendicular line so if in case it's equal what's going to happen so the distance of op is a, uh, it is a distance of r so always o test point the distance we, we are going to take it as a r distance now this distance we can take it as a l i am taken as a small triangle o c b so triangle small triangle o c b this is a theta angle angle of test charge okay we are taken as a consider as a any point so it is a hypotenuse line so which is going to take it as a l so this is opposite and it is adjacent i want adjacent oc length so oc length adjacent by hypotenuse is equal to hypotenuse is ob uh, is equal to cos theta so here oc is adjacent so oc is equal to it is adjacent by a hypotenuse we can take it as a cos theta so adjacent is equal to that is oc is equal to hypotenuse times of l cos theta so i got oc length as a l cos theta so oc length as a l cos theta same way this side is this is a theta so od length also l cos theta od length is l cos theta oc length is l cos theta so same way here i am taken a o or d okay so this triangle uh, if you want adjacent side of this triangle we can take it as a l cos theta this also will be l cos theta now i want the distance of bp so bp is approximately equal to bp is approximately equal to cp bp is approximately equal to cp so i am taken bp is approximately equal to cp if you want cp uh, if you want cp you can say take it as a op minus oc so op minus oc op i know it is a r op i know it is a r oc now we got as a l cos theta so we'll get as l cos theta 
okay so i got now what is the bp because it is the distance of from positive again the distance of negative okay the ap distance ap distance we are going to find i am taking next page so i want ap distance so ap distance if you want ap distance is approximately equal to uh, pd distance so this distance which one already i said okay so if you want pd distance po plus uh, od it is a po plus od i am taken po is the r od is l cos theta so r plus l cos theta okay now we will finding we are going to find the voltage voltage is equal to v1 plus v2 there are two charges is there one is a plus another one is a minus the net voltage here it is a v1 plus v2 okay in the negative you can take it as a negative positive you can take it as a positive first we will see what is the formula for voltage voltage is equal to work done by uh, it is a charge work done we know it is a force into displacement by charge so force we know gra electro coulomb's force 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square into r divided by q q q get cancel rr get cancel so voltage is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r i got now what is the voltage what is the potential for uh, potential formula formula alone we got okay still we have to calculate what is the net potential so net potential is v1 plus v2 so net potential is equal to v1 plus v2 net potential is v1 plus v2 v1 is produced due to the uh, bp distance v2 is produced due to the ap distance so i am taken it is a v1 is a formula will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by distance as a bp distance so again i am taken 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, it is a minus q divided by ap distance the thing is voltage is a scalar quantity okay scalar quantity electron you should take it as a negative but vector quantity electron no need to take it as a negative because vector, vector quantity is going to show as the direction so negative direction already you know okay so we can mention as a direction when here you will get as a scalar quantity electron you will shake you will take it as a negative even energy also electron you should take it as a negative so v is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, q divided by bp distance bp distance already we have uh, already we found bp distance see here bp distance is going to be r minus l cos theta so r minus l cos theta minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught ap distance r plus l cos theta r plus l cos theta so q 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught you can take it as a common so here after the formula will be very easy 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q I, everything i am taken common q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught so i will get 1 divided by r minus l cos theta minus 1 divided by r plus l cos theta so just what i am doing here cross multiplication i am going to do it so uh, see here 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught v net v is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught it is r plus l cos theta minus r minus l cos theta just cross multiplication i am doing I'm, i want to take it as a lcm a minus b a plus b a square minus b square so we'll get like this okay so r plus l cos theta r minus l cos theta this minus if you are taken minus r uh, plus l so q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught divided by r square minus l square cos square theta so this going to be uh, r plus l cos theta minus r plus l cos theta so minus r plus r get cancel x x you will get as a 2x that means it is q times of 2 l cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square minus l square cos square theta okay so l is a very very small value from the center it's a, in a very less value okay else l, l is a less value l square is going to be a uh, it is a very very less okay so it's very small so l square is a very small it is a negligated so this whole thing is going to negligible so v net we will get as a q 2 l cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square so already we know dipole moment electric dipole moment 2 times of q uh, q times of 2 l so this i am taken as a p so v net is equal to p times of cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square now special case so equatorial line axial line at any point these are the three cases we are going to discuss okay v net is equal to p times of cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square this is the final equation we got 
see here from the diagram uh, so from the original diagram uh, this is what we have the diagram theta is the angle of the unknown point okay so here only we found the what is a net voltage in case theta is equal to 0 degree this is going to become as a axial line which is going to call as the end on side when the theta will be 90 degree this will go here so the point will come here the point test point will be here which is going to be called as a equatorial line when the theta is 180 degree this will come here so theta will be 180 degree the it will become again this side uh, test point okay axial line again it's going to become as a axial line so 0 degree axial line uh, one, 90 degree equatorial line 180 degree again it's become as axial line this side left side axial line okay now i'm going to do the special case first we'll take it as a cos 0 cos 0 we know it is a cos 0 degree it's going to be 1 theta is going to be 0 degree it's a case 1 when the car theta is 0 degree cos 0 will be 1 so we'll get v net is equal to p cos theta cos theta is going to be 1 4 pi epsilon naught r square it's going to be p uh, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square so i got the what is a net voltage at axial line here axial line v is equal to p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square okay equatorial line so the second case case 2 angle will be theta will be 90 degree case 2 theta will be 90 degree which is going to be equatorial line so cos 90 is going to be a zero cos 90 is zero this whole equation is going to become as a zero so voltage net voltage is going to be zero at the equatorial line so the net voltage at this particular point is equal to zero okay now we are going to take it as angle as a 180 degree so when we are taking angle as a 180 degree it's going to become as the opposite side this side is going to become angle is going to be 180 degree so theta is going to be 180 degree so cos 180 the answer will be minus 1 so now we'll get v net so cos when it's getting as a minus 1 so see here cos when we are substituting as a minus 1 minus p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square this is a final value so minus p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square this is a final value for the axial line okay see here there are three points we measured one is a uh, axial line another one is a equatorial line another is a left side of the axial line okay this is going to be a uh, it is a v net it is a minus of p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone